Hi guys, welcome back to the channel again. My name is Narendra Chaprana and today I will be giving you 5 tips which gonna help you prepare well for your upcoming RBI, SEBI, NABAD or any big examination which includes quantitative aptitude. Tip number one is you always have to make sure that you master the basics, the fundamentals because that is something which is very very important. You must have understood by now since I'm assuming that you have prepared for any competitive examination that includes quantitative aptitude so you must have understood that chapters are interconnected for example you'll be finding down the ratio and proportion questions the type of questions in some other chapters as well so it's very important to have good command over ratio and proportion so that if those type of questions comes in any other chapter you are very easily be able to ace through with the same secondly if the difficulty level increases then also fundamentals will help you solve those questions in in within stipulated period of a time so it's very important to master down the basics for this you can refer to any book based on the difficulty level for example if i tell you about rbi sebi or nabad so for rbi specifically if i tell you cat level questions are been asked in the examination so you can refer to arun sharma but for any other examination for example if you are targeting UPSC CSAT now in UPSC uh, your CSAT paper quantitative aptitude level is not that much I think RS Agarwal can uh, help you ace through with the CSAT and then if we talk about SSC examination then you have Rakesh Yadav then you have RS Agarwal quantitative aptitude by uh, Eschant publication that gonna help you to master down your fundamentals and then the practice part is already there which you do not have to miss Tip number two is practice with timed mock test. Now this is something which is uh, very uh, least talked about topic over internet but it's very important. I did many mistakes when I was preparing for RBI in my time and due to which I didn't able to clear the examination. So whatever information I'm sharing, I'm sharing based on my experience and the experience of those students who have cleared the examination. So always make sure that you use mock test in a right way I will come up with another video in which I'll give you a detailed explanation as to what is the right way to analyze a mock test but in this particular video I want to convey that please make sure that whichever platform you are referring to for the mock test this will provide you the updated content secondly the interface should be exam like interface third point is make sure that you time down all the questions whichever you try to practice so what you have to do is let's suppose you are solving a question of ratio and proportion or maybe average or maybe of percentage make sure whenever the moment you start solving a particular question you turn on the timer using your cell phone this will help you in understanding what is your speed with respect to the accuracy that you have so this is gonna help you third point or the third tip is basically you have to focus on high weightage topic now remember guys your sole reason to prepare for quantitative aptitude is just to clear the examination you do not have to do PhD or you do not have to become Ramanujan so you have to make sure that you just study those topics which can help you clear down the examination for example there are certain uh, examination in which your advanced math doesn't make that much sense because that takes a lot of time of yours for example if I tell you about the algebra itself that's a month that consumes a month right so why to give uh, that much importance and priority to to that particular chapter if that is not coming or you'll hardly find one or two question in the examination so you have to understand that what all topics what all type of questions came in last five years and based on that you have to segregate and you have to prioritize the type of questions that you will be solving and you will be practicing right so this is gonna help you so, uh, the easiest way is to understand what type of question came back in last five years and for that you can refer to past year paper as well if you want to uh, refer to uh, RBI past year paper then you can go for Anu Jindal's book for the past year paper that is easily available over Amazon not just for phase one but for phase two as well you can refer to that the fourth point which I want to talk about here is short short uh, tricks or you can say the shortcut techniques now many will say that short trick doesn't play a very important role in the examination and indeed that make complete sense as well because 
short tricks is something uh, which can uh, be overpowered if you practice regularly and if you have good fundamentals let's suppose if I'm solving a question again and again again and again so what I'll be doing is I'll be skipping the steps because now those uh, steps are uh, being recalled internally I do not have to write it down to solve the or reach to that particular answer so what you have to do is you also have to make sure that you learn the short cuts short tricks wherever you can it gonna save you time in the examination definitely of course it will never gonna happen that you try to solve a question and the same question exact with the same values came in the examination but of course when you learn the short tricks if same type of question co come in comes in the examination you will be very easily be able to sail across with the same because you'll be able to connect with it fifth and last tip which I want to give if you want to master quantitative aptitude is analyze your mistake we are homo sapiens we are human beings right human error is our tendency so you have to make sure that wherever you are doing mistake you analyze it and make sure that you do not follow the same mistake again and again right this is the feature or the personality of the right candidate okay so you always have to make sure that you analyze your mistakes wherever you are doing that and you make sure that you reaches to your desired goal that is to clear the examination and to become an RBA grade B officer SEBI or NABARD officer or you become an IES officer IPS officer or you clear SSC and you become uh, excise inspector or custom inspector whatever your aim is that's all in this video if you need my help if you need my guidance if you want my counseling you can reach out to me through the number that I've provided in the description I'll make sure that uh, I help you as much as possible and you clear the examination or at least I can be your helping hand in the preparation thank you so much guys